What do you think of my new car? Well, it's new to me. 1947 Monarch. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna try to use whatever I can find on this car to build a knife out of. Let's see what we got to work with. Got no wheels. It's got no motor. Interior is uh, lacking some comforts. Ooh, we got a nice little spring here. It's actually quite a bit of material. Uh, certainly some good material in that. Ooh, springs? That's a little disturbing. Those look like bullet holes. Oh, are those bullet holes? Oh my. If this isn't a crime scene. <laughs> All right. Oh, there is some springs in here. Beefy chunk of leaf springs in there. Oh, we could make five million knives with that. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. And I don't think we have to worry about gas in the gas tank anymore. So these are all my chosen bits here from the car. The license plate, a super cool patina on that. The dash, it's all about the gauge here for me. I really like that. And then steering wheel, that just kind of came out, but that's cool. The meat and potatoes, the leaf springs, which is gonna be the bulk of the knife, the blade part of it. Just like this knob, this is off the column. This was a shifter. And then I'm not sure about this stuff, just thinking if I need material for anything. I don't know if that'll work, but. So now I'm gonna sit down and do some design work, see what we can dream up, figure out for this project. So this is my design, I wanted something that I would never dream of making without the inspiration of the car. So let me walk you through what I'm thinking here, starting from the front. So the car is like kind of like a really aggressive grill in front, so I wanted it to be very like, I don't want to say blunt, but like large, in your face. So wide blade, steep angle up here. So moving to the guard, that's where things get real interesting. And I don't actually know how I'm going to pull this off yet, but the car has a really distinct visor on the front. And I thought, oh man, we got to put that in there. So obviously this would be the windshield. And then the, all the fenders sort of fall away. And I thought that'd be cool to kind of keep that in the guard and in the blade. Moving on to the back, obviously this slope is like the coupe here. I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, this line here sort of represents the back fender and this in here is the fender as well because they kind of swoop up and then down. When I cut the spring out of the back of the car, it actually sunk the car down. It kind of looks like a lowered look. I thought, oh man, if I had a, one of these bad boys, that's what I'd want it to look like. And I just felt like this little swoop here on the end of the handle just kind of added that gangster touch or I don't know what you want to call it, but I thought it looked better than just a flat cut. So let me tell you about today's sponsor, Squarespace. So here's a couple great reasons why you should use Squarespace to build your website. Award-winning templates, right? Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to build, they're gonna have a template that's gonna rock for you. But it gets even sweeter. Oh, my pants got hooked on something. So Squarespace has this thing called Fluid Engine, which makes it so that you can drop and drag, tweak your template, super easy. You're looking for a domain name, that's pretty important. You can search, and get it right at Squarespace. You wanna sell something? Somewhere. You get your Squarespace app connected to your Square Reader. Could sell anywhere you want. So head over to squarespace.com slash TimD. 10% off your first purchase. Get connected with Squarespace. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Ah!
Can't believe that was all the forging. I don't think I've ever done a project where that's it. We're gonna let this cool off. And then we're gonna start the grinding. Okay, so this is where we're at. Ready to go into normalization and then the quench. Pretty smoking nervous about that because we don't know how the leaf spring is gonna do. So that's why I'm not gonna invest any more into this piece until we're through that. So the quench went well, forgot to grab it on camera, but I did put the knife in two cycles for tempering. And now I'm just using the torch to actually take the hardness out of the tang of the knife a little bit. Thank you. So I've got it laid out. I'm gonna go start putting in my bevel in here. This is the part I'm very nervous about. Not super good at this, not good at this, but I'm just going to go do it. Not happy with how this bevel's turning out. And I got this little jiggy wiggy thing made up. I'm gonna use this with some sandpaper on it to try to get the bevel crisp from here to here. And then we'll figure something else out for the backside if this works. So I don't think there's too much. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna try. So this didn't work, but look at this idea. So, <laughs> Peter, tried to sell him on this. Okay, so I got that little knob and I put a screw in so it lands on there. And then we're just gonna, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we don't want that to happen when it's happening. Hey, do you think I could ask a favor? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, would you consider doing that and letting me know if this kind of project is actually cool or not? Right. 
So the knife is uh, hand sanded up to about 150. A couple areas I've probably continued to work on, but it's good enough for now. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to start into the handle and the guard, and then we'll come back and do the final hand sanding. I'm genuinely really excited to show you what I'm thinking for the handle and the parts that I pulled out of the car. That's going to be put into part two of this build, which is coming out next week, Thursday, one week, almost one week from right now. Till then, keep the forge lit, eh?